Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser space capital M period capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on biology. We're going to be looking at mold on a strawberry under the stereo microscope. The stereo microscope produces less magnification than a biological microscope. We'll be looking at the strawberry under the stereo microscope first, under low power and then high power. And then even at higher power, we'll be looking at penicillium, the mold that penicillin is derived from, under the biological microscope at 100 times magnification and 430 times magnification, far higher than what the stereo microscope can produce. Whitaker's classification scheme consists of kingdom plantae, the plants, kingdom animalia, the animals, kingdom monera, the bacteria, kingdom protista, the protistans, and kingdom fungi. It used to be that these organisms were all classified either as kingdom plantae or kingdom animalia, but they were too different and they had to be separated. They are too unique and individual from each other, and so they are then classified as Kingdom Animalia, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Protista, or Kingdom Protozoa, where the Protistans, or Protozoans as it used to be called, were consist cons considered to be related to algae, diatoms, but mold today is now under Whitaker's classification scheme considered to be under its own kingdom. Let's get to the demonstration. Here is the moldy strawberry we will be looking at. The white substance that you see on it is called mycelium. It consists of hyphae that have branched into mycelia. Let's look at it under the stereo microscope. Here we can see the mycelium. A fungus is an organism of kingdom fungi in Whitaker's classification scheme. There are about 144,000 known species of organisms, which includes mushrooms, molds, yeasts, rusts, mildews, and smuts. Yes, yeast you can buy at your supermarket. It raises bread when you make bread homemade. Molds are also used in making cheese, such as blue cheese. Molds are microscopic organisms that play an important role in the decomposition of plant and animal matter. Outdoors, molds can be found in damp and shady areas where vegetation is decomposing. Molds can grow on almost any surface indoors if organic material, moisture, and oxygen are present.
no matter how clean you try to make your house. Molds release tiny cells called spores into the surrounding air when molds are disturbed or moved or wind blows. You breathe in these spores every day. That's why you can put your fruits and vegetables into the refrigerator and your food in the refrigerator and it becomes moldy. It's because of the presence of spores in the air. Fungi produce hyphae. Hyphae release digestive enzymes in order to absorb nutrients from sur sources. Hyphae transport nutrients to other parts of the fungus body, which is called the thallus. Hyphae may become bound together or modified to form mycelium, as you see here under the stereo microscope. Mycelium is a root-like structure of a fungus consisting of a mass of branching, thread-like hyphae. A single spore germinates into mycelium, which cannot reproduce sexually. When two compatible mycelia join, often a mushroom is formed. Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of fungi and release spores into the air to continue the species. Let's look at this under high power. Notice under high power that it seems fuzzy. That's because the mycelium is so thin and small. Let's look at it again under low power. Now we can see more of the mold. We'll move it around a little bit. You can see the strawberry as a substrate. And that was the strawberry. Penicillium is also a mold. Penicillium is where penicillin, the antibiotic, is derived. Penicillium and other molds and fungi can release antibiotics to prevent monarins or bacteria from invading their growth space and depleting them of nutrients in the area where they are growing. Let's look at penicillium under the microscope at higher magnification. Under low power, under 100 times, which is higher than the stereo microscope, it's difficult to see. But let's look at it under high power. My microscope is not quite confocal, so I need to readjust the focus. And here we go. The mycelium is present with the spores. Let me focus the camera, sorry. The mycelium consists of highly branched networks of multinucleated hyphae with each pair of cells separated by a septum. A septum is an internal wall which divides hyphae. Conidiophores are the end of each branch with spherical constricted units called conidia. Sexual reproduction involves the production of ascospores 
ending with the fusion of an anthridium and an archegonium, which shares a nucleus. The asci contain eight unicellular ascospores each, which you can see. Those round spherical objects at the end of the stalks are the ascospores. Your assignment is to tell me what an anthridium, A-N-T-H-E-R-I-D-I-U-M, and an archegonium, A-R-C-H-E-G-O-N-I-U-M, are. And leave it in the comment section below. In the comment section below, describe more about fungi in your world. Show me pictures of fungi as attachments to my email, frankriserrocksminerals at gmail.com. And this is Frank, Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those rocks and minerals, you only have to do one thing, and that is to keep looking down.